What's up y'all, it's your boy Brose here. I'm back with a new video. Before you start this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share, and comment uh, your favorite part below or what you think about the video. All right, let's get to the video. All right, y'all, so we got the Anderson Bell boots, and this is the box that it comes in. It's, it's kind of like an off-white cream box. I got it from Essence, but yes, I got it like a long time ago. I was been supposed to review these, but I forgot about them because I just kept buying other stuff and I just never got a chance to get them. And I only wore these a few times, so the box might be a little scuffy, but I didn't wear them a lot. But yeah, so it has this silver thing, and it says, I got these in a size 43. They're the Python right here. This is like the label. So they're Anderson Square Toe Chelsea Boot. Um, I'm not a big Chelsea Boot fan, but I feel like these were different. So yeah, so let's take off the box. So here's the box, and it says Anderson Bell. Pretty basic, pretty, not too much, not too uh, detail oriented, really regular, you know? So here's the boot, it's the square toe as you can see. And this is the overall size. It's Python, so, but I will show you that this one is different from this one, which I think is pretty cool. So they have a, different designs on each, but yeah. Yeah, and the bottom says Anderson Bell. I got a little marks on them because I wore them. But. So these are the boots. So let's get into the details. So uh, it's square toe right this, here. The outer is, so it's Python embossed cow leather. Now, I'm not into, you know, materials. So I don't know what that means, but I would definitely say it has to be good because it does have a nice feeling and it does feel like, you know, genuine and um, real. It doesn't feel cheap, but it is a little flimsy. It's not like stern hard. And then on the zipper, it says YKK. I don't know what that means, but now, yes, I got these in a size 43. Now in Italian shoes, I usually wear a 42, 42, 42 and a half. But sometimes I get a 43 for boots. They have extra room because sometimes they feel snug on your feet. Now I will say for the sizing of these, um, they are really big. Very big on me, I have to wear really thick socks. I should have got a size down. So for sizing, I will definitely say get, get your exact size. Like don't size up because these are gonna be huge. I probably could probably fit a size. A 41 but back to the um details so it's in the design it's kind of like very minimal it's not too like braggadocious but it's python leather so you're still gonna wear them no matter what you wear they're still gonna be noticeable i would say because they're python leather leather you know very big they look really big in person i would say i don't know how they look on camera because i never took a picture in these but if they look like clown shoes that's because that's what they look like because I got them so big and I'm so mad at myself. I still like them though, don't get me wrong. Now, in terms of uh, comfortability, these are not the most comfortable shoe, but they don't hurt my feet that bad. Because the heel is only 1.1 uh, inches, so it's not that big, So, but it's still that base. So I, if you have an arch in your foot, which I do, it's not the best, I, I would definitely say, if you're going to wear these for a long time or want to, I would definitely say you probably need to change. a change of shoes or a new, a different pair of shoes, you know, down the line or with you because these are going to hurt your feet. Guys, now for pricing. So the pricing for these shoes, um, I got these in 2020. So this was like COVID time. So I think that's when everything was on sale because nobody was going on. So I was like, all right, let me buy these. So the, the retail price, they are $585. I think I saw another... A pair for them for 600 so and I think I saw another pair for like 400 so it depends on where you go and get them um if they're having a sale or not so for my overall rating just wearing them uh how they look and like the details on it because it's like minimal detail I would definitely give these probably like an eight eight and a half they're not a bad shoe I feel like I paid the good the best price for these um to those who paid more um if you do that's you, but for me, I feel like these are worth, you know, the price I paid. So, overall, they're a decent shoe. They could wear these with anything. I would definitely have pictures later to show y'all because I really don't wear these a lot, but I want to start wearing them more because, you know, I paid for them. They're decent. I do wish the heel was a little bit longer to represent more of like a cowboy boot. I just feel like if they were had an extra inch or two, it would have made the boot a little bit more interesting. 
or it gave it a little bit more oomph to it. Yeah. This was the uh, Anderson Bell boot. Well, I'm gonna have the link below of the shoe uh, uh, where you can get these from. Comment down below if you like them or not. Give your own rating. If you ever want more details on these, hit me up or just comment down below or, or any questions you have. But yeah. But if you're not, if you're a guy or a person who likes wearing masculine clothes. And this might be the boot for you because it's not too high. It still has masculine feel too. So if you like that, do it. If you more of a, you know, you like the feminine ways, these might not be for you. Mm. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Peace.